foggy, foggy in the stream, foggy, foggy in the tree. The life cycle just goes on and on. Now listen up to my foggy song. Hey students, did you just hear a song? Oh yes, I heard too. Song was amazing, na? What do you think will be our topic today from that song you heard? Good morning everyone. How are you all? I hope that you all are fine and doing your work sincerely. I know that you obey all our commands like a good student and that's a very good thing because you all are working very hard for your studies. Well, actually today we are going to focus on life cycle of a frog. This is our current topic, life cycle of a frog. Hold on, what did we learn in our previous video? Well, we learned about life cycle of a hen, where we discussed a journey of an egg from embryo to an adult chicken, wherein we talked about hatching, incubation and some facts about chicken. So moving on to our next topic, let's study about Life cycle of a frog. Frogs are cold-blooded living creatures and also known as amphibians. They now what do you mean by cold-blooded animals? Cold-blooded animals requires less amount of energy and maintain their body temperature according to changes in an environment. They are totally different from warm-blooded animals as warm-blooded animals can produce heat by their own body. Amphibians Animals, those who live on land and in water as well, they are termed as amphibians. For example, frog, turtles and toads. Female frog lay hundreds of eggs that vary in size and Shades. These eggs are coated with jelly-like substance that acts as a protective layer for that egg. I'll show you how it looks like. Here you can see these are eggs of a frog, of a female frog. Can you see this jelly-like substance? It acts as a protective layer. Most of the eggs get destroyed just due to various natural calamities like rain and wind, due to which only few get fertilized. The adult frog lays bunches of eggs known as spawn. These eggs are generally termed as spawn. Gradually, they transform into an embryo. This is the very initial stage in this whole process. Eggs will transform automatically into embryo. The eggs hatches into tadpoles with gills and tails. This your embryo looks like. Okay, eggs hatches into a tadpole and tadpole is known as baby frog. And you know, tadpoles have no lungs. They respire through gills which are present over hair. They looks like more like a fish than a frog. At this initial stage, they looks like a fish rather than a frog. After few more weeks, after few more weeks, the tadpole begins to look like somewhat like a frog. As it turns into a froglet, during this stage they develop four limbs and lungs. You can see here four limbs and these are hind limbs. Before developing four limbs, they start developing their hind limbs. And for breathing purpose, they need to have lungs. 
humans also need to have lungs for their breathing purpose so in this life cycle of a frog also they develop lungs to breathe out okay and where they need to breathe out they breathe out outside the water and their tail gradually reduces it becomes a young frog and moves to land the young frog grows and develops into an adult frog okay young frog will develop into a adult frog now i will show you something in this particular video i am going to show you life cycle of a frog and how it takes place eggs okay these are eggs of a female frog they are going to change into an embryo see you can see the changing process going on embryos are developing and finally they are a tadpole now see these all are tadpoles they are just having gills and small tails gradually they are developing into tadpole with two legs and then now they are tadpole with four legs and finally they are just like a young frog tail disappears and they actually look like their parent and the cycle continues again and again this was all about life cycle of a frog And your homework will be what do you call a baby frog write your answers in comment box below like and subscribe my videos for latest notification learn the life cycle of a frog properly try to learn each and every step usually life cycle of a frog is having different kind of stages so you need to learn this stay happy stay safe and happy learning Goodbye take care